Welcome to Mass Speed Market. Today we're gonna solve a really nice problem from Canadian Mass Olympiad. So let's talk about this. If we have x cubed plus x squared equals 36, and we know that x is a complex number, we want to find x. So what should I do? Um, if you look at 36, you can write it as 27 plus 9. That's equal to 36. So I want to move these two numbers to the left side so we can write x cubed plus x squared minus 27 minus 9 that's equal 0 so it means we can write x cubed minus 27 plus x squared minus 9 that's equal 0 so before I continue of course um, you know that for example if you have a cube minus b cube you can write it as a minus b times a squared plus b squared plus a times b and for example if you have uh, a squared minus b squared you can write it as a minus b times a plus b so um, if we look at this really nice equation we can write it as um, x cube minus 3 cube plus x squared minus 3 squared that's equal 0 so if we look at the first one that's for example uh, a, a cube plus a uh, minus b cube so of course you can uh, write it as x minus 3 times x squared plus 3 squared that's equal 9 plus 3 times x and yeah plus if you look at the second one we have x squared minus 3 squared so you can write it as x minus 3 times x plus 3 that's equal 0 so it means if you look at this one x minus 3 and x minus 3 we can factor them and write it as x minus 3 and write the second part we have x squared plus 3x plus 9 plus x plus 3 so it means you can write it as x minus 3 times x squared plus 4x plus 12 right that's equal 0 so if you look at this equation uh, we multiply two parts or two functions then the answer is equal 0 so it means uh, we have two situations the first one is for example we can write x minus 3 that's equal 0 so the answer x will be equal 3 that's a real number and the second one was x squared plus 4x plus 12 that's equal 0 so I want to use uh, a really nice point to find x in this equation that's a quadratic equation in one of my videos I told you for example if you have a t squared plus b t plus c that's equal 0 I prove that you can calculate t from this formula minus b positive uh, negative square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a I put the link of that video in the description you can check if you don't know so in this case a is equal 1 b 4 and c 12 so it means the x will be equal minus b minus 4 positive and negative square root of b squared that's equal 16 minus 4 times a that's equal 1 times c that's 12 divided by 2 so the answer will be equal 16 minus 48 that's equal minus square root of minus 32 i think yeah minus 4 positive and negative square root of negative 32 
uh, yeah that's right divided by two and of course you know that the square root of uh, negative 32 you can write it as i square root of 32 and you know that the square root of 32 is 4 times square root of 2 so the final answer will be equal negative 2 positive and negative 2 uh, square root of 2 times i right and uh, yes that's it and we had three solutions for our main equation if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like the video and thanks for watching